Hello again. This is the creator of Amazer at ChallengeU.com. If you're looking for a more uh, basic tutorial, uh, please take a look at the Create Your Own Online Game tutorial. Uh, here I'm just going to go through some, you know, try to build a little basic maze, show you how you can uh, change some textures on walls and ramps. So let me just start. Pressed E on the keyboard, that's camera angle, so you can see a, a more in the maze view and I'm going to create more of a, a sci-fi theme here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to click on the floor, right click on the floor. I could have also right clicked in the drawing pad and I'm going to select a texture and I'm going to scroll down and select tile. Look more like a, almost like a laboratory room. And I'm going to create some walls. I'm going to zoom in here too. So I'm going to create a back wall so you see what that looks like. So that's brick. That doesn't look too sci-fi to me. So I'm going to select, right click on the wall. And this is the blue side of the wall. So I'm going to look under the wall properties. And on the blue side, I'm going to select sci-fi. And that looks a little more like a, a spaceship or a lab room. So I'm going to set that as, I'm going to click that again. I'm going to set that as default. First, I'll change the other side as well. So the red side, I'm going to change the sci-fi. I'm going to set it as the default. So every wall I make from here on out is going to be sci-fi texture. So let me continue making some walls. So let me grab my character and put him inside. So now I can use WASD to walk around in this little room I just made. So not too exciting yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a start line. Whenever you make a maze, you want to decide, or a game, you want to decide where you want your players to start. Now I'm going to make this the start point. So now I want to make a way to get out of here. So I'm going to drag a ramp into the room. And you can see everything is updated in real time in the 3D window that I'm doing in the 2D window. So I could take this ramp, I could rotate it. I could say forward, back, left, or right. I can't see it that well there, but I'm going to stick with forward. I can also change the texture of the ramp. Now these don't look that good in a sci-fi maze, so I'm going to stick with tile. So now I want to make a second level. I'm going to click on up, add level. Add one, yes. So now I'm above the room I just created. So I'm going to resize this floor by dragging the corner green markers. I'm going to use this as my next floor. And you can see how it's changing in the 3D window. see you can look at what's going on here. So I'm going to change the texture of the floor again to, t to tile. And I'm going to go ahead and create some more walls. I'll make this room a little bit bigger. Alright, see I made it a little bit too big there. So I'm going to right click on the line and then I can move the walls And make one more wall here. Okay, I actually need to make a way to get in, so I need to keep that wall a little bit smaller. Now I'd like to put some doors in here. I'm going to drag a door right like that and like that. Now a door can be either unlocked or can be keyed 1 through 10. I'm going to make this key number 5. You know, I'll select the other one, do the same thing. So the player will have to find key number five or a master key to get in through this door. So I'm going to go ahead and give them one. So let me drag a key into the maze. I'll put it back in this corner. And see it says M. That's a master key. And I will make it key number five. 
So let me go up a level. I could either just drive the character up there like this. In edit mode, you can just go right through the doors. You don't need a key. So now I have my next room. So what I would do here is maybe make a few diamonds. Uh, put, a, put a few diamonds that they'll have to get in the game. Put those in. Or maybe I'll put a message board right here. Drag that into the maze. Right click on it. I'll clear the text. And I'll say uh, laboratory. So next I think I'm going to drag a, a chaser in here. Now a chaser is a pretty scary, I think, uh, creature to have in the maze. This is a pumpkin, but you can also have a saucer or a ghost. I'm going to keep a saucer. And what these do is uh, when you're playing the game, they, they hide. They're almost completely transparent until you come up right on top of them. Then they start coming after you and they slow you down. So I'm going to put one right there. That'll scare you when you come through the door. Let's go ahead and see what we have so far. I'll click on Preview, and that'll let us see what it's going to look like in game mode. Uh, only thing is you can't finish. It won't let you win in Preview mode. So if I look around here, see I have the doors up there. Let me go grab this key. Oh, laboratory. Oh no! So you can outrun them usually depending on how fast the uh, creator makes them. And they don't follow you from one level to the next. Let me go back to the editor. Well actually you would have, to get out of here you would have pressed H and then back to the editor. I'm going to drag the roof above my other floor to go down a level and look up and I'll see I have the roof here and I think I'm also going to make the ceiling right click on the ceiling I want to make that tile as well now since I did that I no longer have a way to get up up to the upper level so I have to go up a level by pressing R I'll zoom in again I need to drag a hole over the top part of the ramp. Now as you see here, I now have a way to get through. And I'm also going to put in a few more walls. Okay, preview mode resets your defaults. You'll have to do that again. So, I hope this gives you some ideas of uh, how you can build a sci-fi type maze and change textures pretty easily. You know, this took about four or five minutes. And please look for other videos to come. Please come to challengeu.com and try out a mazer. Thank you.